Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Come along with me today as I explore the dollar spot at Target. And of course, once I get home, I will show you everything that I picked up. So stay tuned. Now before I get shopping, I have some returns I have to do at Target. First I have this watering can. It's really cute, but I ended up using a lantern on my new table instead. You guys might remember that from my home decor haul. And I also ended up not using these curtains I found on clearance. I ended up finding the ones I wanted originally from Walmart, so I definitely wanted to return these ones. And I also bought this really cute onesie for Griffin for our upcoming trip to Disneyland. But the problem is the hat. They sent me a hat with the shirt and the hat is teeny tiny. There's no way he could wear this. It's actually a six to nine month hat, whereas the shirt is a 24 month size. So I definitely needed to return this. So it was off to Target and I can't tell you how glad I was to see that inside the store, there wasn't a huge line at the return counter. It was awesome. And now on to the dollar spot. I really noticed a lot of items that would be perfect for Mother's Day, like these mugs and these picture frames. These jewelry pouches were also really cute, and I was seeing a lot of pink and pastel colors. Very pretty. I also noticed a lot of flower pots, like this hanging one. This came in several different colors, and they also had a lot of these other planters. This one says, never enough time, which is so true. On the next aisle, I found lots of items my kids would love. These are perfect for summertime or just playing outdoors. They had light up bracelets and water balloons, lots of things for the pool. I'm pretty sure Mackenzie would love this mermaid tail. Now, I actually really love this utensil holder. I love the teal color. It's made of metal and it says Aloha, perfect for those summer parties. Now, I don't usually wear big floppy hats, but that's probably because my head is kind of large and these hats never fit me. But I do think that this one is really cute. It says, Hello Sunshine. And the one underneath says, Beachy. I thought this flamingo watering can was adorable. And I also really like these bags, although I would like them if they were a little bit larger. I tend to carry a lot of stuff for all of my kids. I really like these lightweight scarves as well. These are infinity scarves for just $5. Bright and colorful. And on this trip to Target, I hit the candle jackpot. They had so many different kinds of candles and they're really pretty, but I have to say they looked prettier than they smelled. I didn't really find one that I really loved, but they did look cute. I'm a huge fan of any sort of mason jar cup. I have a lot of the Pioneer Woman ones, so these are really cute, but there was only two of them. In this last section, they had a lot of really cute tropical themed items, including these really cute little plates. You get four of them for $3, and they're actually plastic. And I really, really like this pineapple. It was the only one left, but unfortunately it was chipped. And down at the bottom, they had some really cute pillows. I'm a fan of the flamingo one. And this really cute watermelon shaped cooler bag, perfect for a picnic. And now I'm gonna go ahead and head back home and show you everything that I picked up. I'm going to start with the home decor items first and then I'll show you all the fun things I picked up for the kids. First up, I have this beautiful teal tray. I'm a huge fan of this color and have quite a lot of things in this color already. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm thinking something decorative outside on the patio table would be pretty. Now also in sort of a teal color, I picked up this box. Now, I thought it was a recipe box at first, but then I saw on the top that this is actually a seed tin organizer. This was $5, and if you open it up inside, you have all of the dividers right in here. And so you can keep track of what you plant and where you planted it and all that kind of stuff. Next up, I have this beautiful glass jar that's actually a terrarium. 
I wasn't quite sure what it was at first, but that's what it says on the bottom right here. This was $5, and I think I might actually put some rocks and some fake succulent plants on the inside. I think I might have better luck with the fake plants versus real, but I think this is really pretty for just $5. I also picked up this really cute mason jar set. This was the last one in the store. Had they had more, I probably would have purchased more. So I might go back in the future. This has really cute little knobs on the side, comes with the lid and the straw. Next up, I have two different kinds of planters. This first one is a gray with this pattern on the outside. And this is like a cement pot. So it could be used for a plant or just about anything really. This was $5. And then I also picked up this hanging planter. This was also $5 and I love that green color. They also had this one in pink as well. Now the last home item I picked up was this mouse pad. This was $3 and I actually really think the pineapple design on here is really cute. I'm kind of sad that they didn't have this in the teal color because I totally would have gone for that first. But I think this one's really cute and mine was getting pretty dingy so I'm glad to get a new mouse pad. And now for all the fun kid stuff. They had so many things in the dollar spot to keep kids busy and I'm always trying to do that. So first up I have some bubble blasters and I actually got four of these. I used to just get three but now my toddler wants one too. And what's really cool about these is they have a light as well. So you just push it like this and it lights up just like that. I know some kids that are gonna be excited to see these. I also found three new busy books and these are actually made of felt. They are so cute. The first one is a mermaid theme. So this has learning games, matching, counting, and a design your own page. And it comes with all of the pieces right there. These are $3 each. I also got one that was food themed with a cute little food there. And I got the dinosaur one. So I'm pretty sure my preschooler Lily will love these and probably my toddler as well. These will be great in the car. Next up I have some paint sets. This comes with the pages and all of the paint and the brushes. Now these can kind of get messy. I like my kids to do these outside if I can, if the weather's good enough. Next up, I have something super cute. I have some sidewalk chalk that looks like treats. This first one looks like a little popsicle. And then we have the donut and then the ice cream sandwich. Isn't that so cute? So these must be pretty popular. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me on this haul today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.